Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Steel Series Nimbus Plus wireless gaming controller. Now, as you know from previous videos, I'm not a big um, phone gaming um, fan just because the uh, the phones are too small for my fingers and stuff, and I just find it to be really awkward. I did a review of the Kishi, the Razer Kishi. Uh, gaming controller uh, a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I liked it but there were some games that just were not compatible and didn't work with that controller. Uh, this particular controller works with your phone and this is for iPhones and then it will also work as a wireless controller for your iPad. So uh, a couple things to check out and test and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get into this. So the Steel Series Nimbus Plus wireless gaming controller works with iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Up to 20 meters or 40 feet is the range. Buttons are tactile D-pad, clickable L3 and R3, L2 and R2. It's boasting 50 plus hours of battery life. The connection is a lightning cable. Uh, there is a Nimbus iPhone mount that goes right on the controller and the weight is around 243 grams and here's the dimensions. I'm not going to read those out. Oh, here's what uh, iOS devices they're compatible with. So that's great. And then here's some more uh, information. All right, let's unpack this. out as one piece. How about the styrofoam? And then inside the box, I'm guessing, is the iPhone mount. Also comes with some uh, product information here about the controller. I really like the grips on this. Feels almost like an Xbox controller. There's the lightning port there for charging. Looks like there's a battery indicator and then a Wi-Fi button when you start to uh, when you try to connect it to your device. It's probably nothing. Those two holes, I guess. It's probably like that. That flips down. Okay, interesting. Take those out. Then you got the R2 and L2, and the R1 and L1. Got a home button, I'm not sure what these ones do. I'm sure there's their option buttons. Good clicking. Joysticks are good action, and these buttons have good action as well, good return. Okay, let's get it onto an iPhone and an iPad and let's start gaming. Let's check it out. Okay, we are going to connect this uh, 
controller to the Bluetooth on my iPad. Go ahead and hit the home button here to turn it on. And my, oh, Nimbus, yep, here we go. And it is now connected. All right, a little Call of Duty mobile here. Actually, the controller feels pretty good. Not sure how to use it. Enemy contact. Target down! Contact with enemy! The SteelSeries Nimbus wireless controller. Um, I have a couple thoughts about this. Uh, the controls were easy to navigate. It really reminds me of an Xbox controller. The buttons had good action, uh, good travel, and uh, the, it was really smooth on the actual joysticks. Um, so that was good. Really good construction around the joystick itself, hard plastic, so uh, you really couldn't go wrong there. The only problem that I have was the connection here to the iPhone holder. I have an iPhone 11 and it's this iPhone holder connects to the joystick through these two prongs and it goes into two holes at the top of the controller. And when you're trying to push it down, this little rubber piece kept coming off of this bracket here uh, to help. I think it's kind of a grip to help you push down the wires so it holds onto the joystick uh, more securely. But it kept popping off. Not only that, is there's a lot of wobble here in the holder, and so I don't think it gets pushed down all the way to where it. There's no clicking sound, so it's just kind of sitting there. Also, when we put the iPhone in the actual holder, it would bend this down quite a bit, so it was kind of funky. Uh, I didn't like it, and uh, I didn't think it was really well thought out, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but with the iPad, uh, it worked really well with the games that are compatible with this joystick, and I'm going to talk about that. So some of the more popular games like Genshin Impact and PUBG are not compatible with this joystick. And that didn't come as much of a surprise because those games aren't compatible with the, Razi, uh, the Razer Kishi uh, joystick as well. But we did get it to work with uh, the LEGO Star Wars, and I'm guessing that any LEGO game that's like that Star Wars game we played uh, would work with this joystick. We also got uh, Call of Duty Mobile to work, and I've never actually played Call of Duty on my iPhone uh, with a joystick, and so that was a great experience. I really enjoyed that. I'm not, I'm not really good at it, but it was a good uh, experience. 
we got this joystick from Amazon for about 70 plus dollars with tax and I have to tell you I just it just isn't worth the money um, I would look at like the Razer Kishi might look at some other controllers out there do your research but I would pass on this particular controller anyway if you like this review hit the like button if you want to see more reviews like this by Tech by Pike please hit the subscribe button. It helps us out, it helps the channel, and it gives us the opportunity to bring more reviews to you. It also gives us an opportunity to improve on our reviews, and we appreciate that. So have a great 4th of July, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.